playing the part for today's video. I got my fireplace, we're set. I did a few different categories and then within each category is below $50 and then above $50. So whatever your price range is, hopefully you find something that sparks your interest. Let's start off with a cozy under $50. We can't have a cozy category without talking about some skims. So first off, the skims slippers. These are kind of like a sandal type of slippers, but they just look so fluffy and cozy. Then we have the skims sandals. These are called sandals, but they are more like slippers or like around the house shoes. The smiley face slippers have been all over the place. I've seen them on a bunch of different websites, but Luke and Gray also sells them now and they have them in blue and also in pink. A candle trimmer, so basically these just cut the wicks of your candles and then they also have the little thing that blows out your candle as well. You can get them this and then get a pretty inexpensive candle. Most of mine are from Target and they range from like $5 to $15. Cozy over $50, we're talking about a couple of robes starting with the Pottery Barn robe. This is like a Sherpa material and these are pretty inexpensive because robes can get very expensive. Kind of like the Skims robes. Now these are more expensive but I could tell you that they are are so comfortable and worth the money so they have the cozy knit robe and they also have the sleep robe as well they just came out with a cozy knit blanket which is the same material as their other items that are absolutely amazing and literally everything else that is on the skims website i will link all of my favorites down below i don't have all of these things but i these things are on my wish list the barefoot dreams cardigan is also on my wish list my mom has one of these and i have been stealing it because it is one of the softest cardigans ever going into kitchen under 50 dollars, we have a personalized recipe book as someone that has been getting into cooking more recently i feel like it's great to have one place where you write down all the recipes that you've tried out and loved or like tweak certain things so you can go back to it and have it all in one place. Really nice oven mitts. They can get expensive, so it's nice to get them as a gift. And maybe if you wanna spend a little bit more, then you can get them a matching apron or matching little dish towels. I found this phone stand on Nordstrom and I just think it's really cute to have either in the kitchen to read off your recipes or have in your office when you're doing work. A matcha set for someone that is just getting into matcha or someone like me that already loves matcha but doesn't have one of their own. I just make my matcha in like my soup bowls so it'd be really nice to get a full set. You could get them matcha or you can get them coffee. You could get them Chamberlain coffee. They have some great bundles and gift sets that include like mason jars and the coffee and straws and everything. Or if they're just a coffee lover, you can get them their own cold brew bottle. Blue Bottle makes one. I found these tile coasters and you can get them in all like the same colors or different colors and have like a mix and match set, a zodiac sign mug. So these are a kind of personalized gift, but still something that is so inexpensive and easy to get. There are these cactus shot glasses from Urban Outfitters that I just think are so cute. Then they also have a cowboy boot bottle opener. As for kitchen, over $50, there are two different sets going back to kind of matcha and coffee. The Alfred's vanilla latte kit literally has absolutely everything you need. If oat milk, the vanilla syrup, uh, cups, the coffee, everything you need to make your own Alfred's vanilla latte at home. Um, a matcha starter kit. So the matcha set just has like all the tools that you need to make matcha, but the matcha starter kit comes with the matcha and I think it has like an electric whisk as well if that's easier for you to make matcha that way. Going into bags under $50, there's this brand called Bagu that I've seen a couple people wear recently and they're just very sleek and simple everyday bags. They have a small version and a medium version and they come in a bunch of different colors. Bags over $50, starting with the Bays Mini Work Bag. I recently just got one of these, and I can tell you that if you need a work bag or you know someone that needs a work bag, it's the absolute perfect bag. It comes with all the compartments that you need, and it's just very sturdy, and I know it's going to last me a long time, so it is absolutely worth the money. If you or someone likes more backpacks, Bays also has a backpack. They also have a beach bag, and I feel like this is a good gift for moms. Moms love beach bags for some reason. JWPEI is a brand I see all over the place. 
Junie is playing with my sock right now. And these are just the cutest shoulder bags. Everyone needs a good everyday shoulder bag to have. I saw this brand, Charles and Keith, on TikTok, and they have really expensive looking bags at a pretty decent price. They seem like they're gonna last you a long time. The Marc Jacobs tote bag is a little bit of a more expensive bag, but not by too much. I feel like this is a really, really nice bag to get someone without breaking the bank. And I've seen a lot of people have them. They just seem like they fit everything that you need in them kind of like a mary poppins bag you just it's never ending accessories under $50 if you've ever seen MEJ hair clips these are I think crazy expensive especially their custom hair clip but they're $86 $86 for a hair clip. So I honestly think you can make your own one of these. You know, it might not be as nice. It might not last them as long, but the personalized gift is there. The thought is there. The time is there. So I think that it could turn out pretty good. I have some friends that have been getting into reading recently. So to get them a really cute bookmark, I found these really cute like sprout ones on Amazon. A few people has these really cute Vela sunglasses dupes. They're kind of like those aviators. And these are only $40 as compared to accessories over $50, the Vela sunglasses. I have these. I think they're worth the money. They are amazing sunglasses. They are $160, but the free people one are just as cute. Crab Eyewear also has some really cool colored sunglasses. If you want to get someone some jewelry for Christmas, but again, don't want to break the bank, Missouri has some very nice, very good pieces. All of my rings are from them and they've last me forever. Clothing over $50. We're skipping the under $50 just because because I feel like with clothing, I want to ask people things for Christmas that I wouldn't typically buy myself, so that's why I put it on my wish list. Mostly Aritzia things, so we'll start there. They have the cutest half zip sweaters, they also have the cutest sweat sets. I feel like getting someone a full sweat set like sweat shorts, the crew neck, or sweat pants in the crew neck is a great gift. LA Apparel also has really cute sweat sets. Aritzia has really cute puffer vests. I got this one from H&M actually, so if you want to get them from H&M too, that's a great option. Also in the clothing category, you can get them merch from their favorite coffee shop. You can go to pretty much any coffee shop and they have t-shirts and crewnecks that they make themselves most likely, or even a gift card. I feel like stuff like that when it's like their favorite restaurant, favorite coffee shop, it just shows them that you know them and you pay attention and you listen to them. Shoes over $50. I love Converse, especially platform Converse. You can get them in so many different colors. You can also get them custom Converse, which I got last year for Christmas and I absolutely love. I think the cutoff date for these is like in a couple of days. So if you do want to get them custom Converse, then you have to put in your order pretty fast. I can tell you that the Birkenstock clogs are my absolute favorite shoes as of right now. They also have those like Sherpa clogs. I fell into the Ugg trap and Uggs aren't coming back into style. They've been in style. I just have never had a pair of my own. So I finally got some. Great present. Great present to yourself also. Now that I have the Ugg boots, I need the Ugg slippers for sure. For sure, I need the Ugg slippers. The Adidas Fold Forum shoe, I really love the blue and white one. Loafers have also been in style recently and they can get pretty expensive, so it's great to get them gifted to you. And then those like almost to the knee boots, I found a nude pair, so cute. If you've been looking for them, I'll give you the link. Gift sets, makeup, and perfume, under $50. The Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette is everything that you need, especially if you love just like a neutral eye look. The Anastasia Brow Freeze, I included this because obviously it is a great like brow gel, but also you can use it to put down your little flyaways if you're doing like a sleek bun. So it's like a two-in-one gift. The Clean Makeup Set from Sephora. I love the Ilia Mascara. I love Tower 28 lip products. Replica fragrances can get so expensive, but they actually have a set with all of the fragrances in it for $36. Necessaire also has a great gift set. It comes with body serum, body wash, lotion, exfoliator, gift sets, makeup, perfume, over $50. Sephora has a clean fragrances set. So I told you guys before, I love clean scents. So this is really perfect for someone to try them out. And then it also comes with a certificate for them to get the full size of like whichever one was their favorite health and fitness under fifty dollars produce bags but make them like luxury produce bags Bays has these really cute ones that i just found they're not 
super necessary, but as a gift, I think that I would really enjoy receiving that. A rollerball for stretching. I got one gifted to me by my mom and I use it every single day. One of the best gifts you can get someone for Christmas this year is the Lululemon Everywhere Bag. I'm telling you, this is the best bag ever and anyone you get it for, they will be using it every single day. It's one of those things that you don't know you need until you have it, so. It's great to get literally anyone. Lastly, we have health and fitness over $50 and we're ending off with one item and that is the aloe yoga mat. I have one of these. If someone needs a yoga mat, this is the one to get. As I said before, all of the more like masculine presents will all be linked in the Google Docs as well with everything I just mentioned to you guys. It's quite a long list, so when you need to, go through it. But I hope that you guys I didn't even notice. I think my laptop died. <laughs> Our fire went out, but that's all right. We made it to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and you got some gift list ideas or gift guide ideas. Let me know in the comment section one thing that's on your wish list. One thing that you really, really want for Christmas because some of these are on my wish list, but I still need some ideas. So let us know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video.